it's another tremendous loss for our university, our basketball program, and our entire community. He was extremely special and important to every player and every coach who ever worked here. Uh, he was even more important to me. Uh, seems like a hundred years ago I was a high school coach and asked him if I could talk to him a little bit at lunch during camp. And uh, uh, told him that I thought I was uh, cheating uh, the students that I had at Owen High School because I was teaching five classes of health and physical education. And the only thing I was thinking about was my 15 or 16 players on my basketball team. And I decided that I wanted to uh, get into college coaching. And I told him I was thinking of applying for a graduate assistance position at another school. And uh, the next night at dinner, that's uh, when Coach Smith asked me to come back and be the part-time assistant. <clears throat> so I think that not only did he coach me on the freshman team in 19... 68, 69, 67, 68, whatever year it was. Uh, he was my coach. He was another mentor. He was a friend. He was a, a father figure. He was a big brother uh, for me, just like he was so so many players. He was an unbelievable assistant to Coach Smith. Uh, coach Smith had so many strengths and very few weaknesses, and the weaknesses that he did have, Coach Guthridge tried to fill and uh, tried to do every one of those little things that drove Coach Smith crazy. He tried to do them and do a great job with them. He was a perfect uh, um, sidekick for Coach Smith. He was a perfect assistant for so many players who played here, and again, the coaches, me and Eddie Fogler, and I'm sure Randy Will, and Dave and Pat and all those guys, and Phil was here, it would feel the same way. Obviously, this is a, another um, sad day in, uh, in my life, in, uh, in Carolina basketball, in all of our lives. Coach Guthridge meant so much to so many of us. You know, I think the book on loyalty and friendship uh, was written by Coach Guthridge. I can't think of another person that's been more loyal to so many people than Coach Guthridge. And I think some, something that gets overlooked so many times is how competitive he was. I don't think everybody that really knows him, they look at him as being very low key and mild. And, but uh, some of the guys on the team had a little joke about Coach Guthridge that if you grew up with him in junior high or high school and got in a fight with Coach Guthridge and beat him, you better look out because the next morning when you woke up and walked out, he'd be sitting on your do doorstep ready to fight again. So he's one of the most competitive people that I ever met. And um, I was uh, honored to, to uh, play for him and it was an honor to coach with him.